This is Gaza. And he's currently under blockade. And that blockade is enforced by Israel. Starving people, restricted passages, multiple destructions on his land. Gaza couldn't take it anymore. Many had called for blockade to be lifted, but Israel's still reluctant to do. So why such this thing occurred? Gaza was a part of Palestine under British colonial rule until the UN came in to divide it a land in order to solve a conflict between Jews and Arabs. It didn't work, because both rejected it. This is our holy land, and we won't share with anyone, they said. Because of this, another war broke out, and Jews won a battle, leading to a creation of Israel. The Arabs were not happy, having Jewish state in their neighborhood is unacceptable. So, they teamed up and attacked Israel, but got beaten by Israel instead. As a result, Israel kept much of former British Palestine's land. Jordan annexed East Jerusalem and a portion of land called West Bank, and Egypt kept a small strip, which later known as Gaza. Gaza would become under Israelis' control in 1956, and again in 1967 as a result of Six-Day War. Twelve years later, a peace treaty was signed between Egypt and Israel. Israel will return Sinai back to Egypt, and in return, Egypt will renounce all territorial claims on the north of its border. With him, said by Gaza, that's unacceptable. Together with West Bank, they launched a series of protests, known as First Intifada. Many Palestinians demanded Israel to leave and allow them to have their own government. So, after signing Oslo Accords, Israel gave up some of his control in Palestine to PNA and started a peace talk in order to end a conflict. However, the talk stalled and another intifada broke out in 2000, ended with Israel's leaving Gaza in 2005. In 2006, an election was held in Palestine. Hamas won, but soon having a fight with Fatah, leading Hamas's full control of whole Gaza in 2007. It was a bad news for Israel. Having Gaza controlled by a group who hate him will leave him vulnerable to the terrorist attacks. So in 2007, Israel enforced blockade against Gaza, hoping that will protect him from terrorism and prevent them to smuggling weapons into Gaza. Additionally, Israel will control most of Gaza's electrical supply and the import of food, water, and especially fuel. Although it helped reducing rocket attacks, but Gaza's only power plant and hospitals need it for their generators. Without them, there will be no electricity. Without electricity, some medical tools might not working. Without them, you know what will happen next. Israel was not only one who done it. Egypt done it too. The reason? Egypt's fear of Iranian influence and Hamas-style militancy in his land, leading him to close and strengthen his border with Gaza in period before Hamas's takeover. In 2008, Hamas angered Israel by firing several rockets into southern part of his land. So, Israel responded with a total blockade, causing many Gazans to flock into Egypt to obtain foods and supplies. Luckily, it finally been solved with the reopening of Rafa border crossing and Israel's allowance of send supply into Gaza as long as not being used against Israel. In 2010, Egypt and Israel agreed to lift their blockade of civilian goods while still prevent any dual-use goods into Gaza. Two years later, Egypt started supplying fuel to solve a lengthy fuel crisis in Gaza. One year later, Israel has eased its regulation on the construction material into Gaza, hoping to reduce rocket attacks. Nonetheless, everything came crashing down with the current Israel-Hamas war. As Israel is now aimed to take out Hamas, the future of Gaza and his 2.3 million Gazans were uncertain.